Oh, don't you start fussing too. I've got that's all. It's still too hot to put water on. They could do with another pump. It should be heavily green now. What's all this about, Dick? Well, the object was first sighted at about 9.15 this evening, and its approach was widely observed over the southern counties. A statement just issued by the Home Office stresses that there is no general danger. Members of the public, however, are warned to stay away from the area. I will repeat that. The Home Office stresses that there's no immediate danger. Do you realize what you'll have to face if this turns out to be a disaster, quite a mess? How much further? Well, yes, I'm talking to you. For the last 20 miles, I've been painfully aware of that. Well, then answer, man. How did it happen? What went wrong? For the first time in the history of the world, man has sent a rocket 1,500 miles into space. You can't expect such an experiment to be perfect. Well, you must have had some idea. I'm a scientist, not a fortune teller who predicts what will happen. Well, you had instruments, radio contact. We lost it for over 57 hours, sir. Broke loose, and we don't even know how far it's been. Had no further contact, even when it returned to the orbit. Yet you brought it down by your own control. Well, that's something to tell your ministry. Wait a minute, set it up, and he brought it back. Please, oh, please. Couldn't you fix another time for this? I'm sorry, Mrs. Kern. I happen to be concerned with the Ministry of Defense. Well, I'm not a civil servant. I'm a doctor, and I happen to be concerned with three men. The three men who are in that rocket. Oakley Green. This is it. Certainly no secret. Sorry, no one allowed past this point. All right, Mr. Minister of Defense. Oh, yes, sir. All right, there, open up. Hey, sorry, Miss, you must keep back. Oi, Miss. Hey, just a minute, please. Miss! Aye, aye, chasing the girls again. Oh, you think it was a bank holiday the way they come flocking out? I'd like a flock home. You stay put, my lad, till that thing cools off. Or blows up. Now, don't start that story going around. They said it's not a bomb. Then why can't we put water on it? Listen, Charlie, we've had instructions. Yes, don't but... ask me why, because I didn't tell us. Hey! Hey, just a minute. Mr. Blake, let us be up defense. I'll get the inspector. 
Try and get through to the marsh. Watch out. Give me a temperature reading. Why don't you stay away from the car, Judy? It's funny. It looks exactly the same. Yet it's been, who knows how far. There isn't a word. Hello, do you want hello? Q1, Q1. This is Marsh. Hello, Karoon, Green, Reichenheim. You received me. Over. Keep trying, Mr. Blake. I'm quite a mess. I'll be in charge from here on, Inspector. Can't say I'm sorry about that. What's the next move? We can't do anything right now. Not until that cools off. How long will that be, sir? I would say three or four hours at least. You won. You won. This is Marsh. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Over. I'll be there for four hours. I suppose you'd like me to open it up right now, huh? One blast of air in against that heat, it'd incinerate them. Some reporters have nothing, sir. They'd like some facts. They'll get some later. They'll get some now. Bring them on, Major. Don't you think we ought to find out a few more ourselves first? Bring them on, Major. Are you hearing me, Q1? Are you hearing me? This is Marsh calling Q1. Q1, over. You know, if I ever gave them all the facts, you'd find one or two of them difficult to explain. Don't try and drag me through the mud, Blake. You might splash a little bit on yourself, you and your committee. You deliberately launched that rocket without waiting for official sanction. If the whole world waited for official sanction, it'd be standing still. You took too long. I made my own decision. To gamble with three men's lives. Every experiment is a gamble. The unknown is always a risk. They should know that. Did she know that? That woman over there waiting, hoping and praying? It's dropped another hundred degrees since we arrived. Still got a long way to go. I said that insulation lining doesn't crack out. Yes, that's what it didn't. Because Hello. if it did, quite a mess. And those three men in there are dead or alive, they'll be heroes. All right, Let me tell you something, Blake. They'll fire the imagination so that there'll be a hundred men begging for the same privilege when we launch the second rocket. You can't stop it now. Do you receive me? You mean I can't stop you now? That's right. This is Marsh calling Q1. Marsh calling Q1. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Over. There's nothing, sir. Nothing, Guedemans. You know what you've done. I launched it and I brought it back. That's quite an achievement, I think. And those three men... What? Will... What is it, Marsh? Something came through. Pull up. Ryan, pull up. It's a tapping, coming from inside. By the hull, near the transmitter. Q1, Q1. Green, Reichenheim, Karun. This is Quatermus, Quatermus. We can hear you. Can you hear us? Over. Q1, Q1, can you hear me? You've landed in England. We're here, not 50 yards from you. Are you all right? Over. Having a stop. We can't wait. We've got to get them out of there now. Bring me the fire chief. Right away, sir. Set the remote control. Hey, you know what'll happen if we open that rocket door now? We've got to take that risk. We know one of them is alive in there, and an hour he may not be. But you said that would incinerate them. You can't do a thing. Don't right tell then. me what I can do, what I can't. That do. shell temperature is still 300 degrees. All right, what would you suggest? Wait till it's absolutely safe and then bring them out? Dead? Door control set, sir. Hold it. Where's that fire chief? Get an ambulance moved in, stand by. Ambulance. You want me, sir? Yes. Round up every man and piece of machinery you've got. Move it in there as close as possible. We're going to open the rocket door from here by remote control. When the door opens, when I give you the signal, I want every hose turned full force around that entrance. Now, you got it? Well, that thing still is off its bases. I don't know. You stop pumping water. Don't out. argue with me. I know what I'm doing. I hope so, sir. Major. Sir. I want this whole field cleared. When they come out of the rocket, I want absolutely no one on the field. You understand? No one. Don't worry, sir. <laughs> Uh, we don't know what condition they'll be in, so you better get everything out. Oxygen, morphine, glucose. Well, now it's up to you. Keep your eye on me. I'll give you the signal. All set? Set, sir. Start it up. Let me know when you're minus 10 to pressure. Right, sir. Minus 10. 9. 8. 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero.
Victor, Victor, they're gonna be yeah. darling. What about the other one? Into the other state of shock. He must be treated. He's got to talk first. He's got to tell me what happened. Gordon. <laughs> what is it, Victor? What is it? <laughs> he said, "Help me." That's all he said. any prettier, but I got a lunch date with the wife. Any special reason? Uh-huh. My favorite day of the month. Payday. Oh, my big man on payday. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm -hmm. See the papers? Quite a mess. You're stirring it up for the police. How dare we take fingerprints from a sick man? There's nothing else I could do. He couldn't talk, couldn't answer any questions. Thought we might as well get his prints. You never know. No, you never know. He's a weird one, all right. The skin. It's just like shaking hands with a piece of ice. Sergeant, there's no way to talk about a public hero. Come in. Uh, Mr. Coyle, i see you, sir. Well, speaking of public heroes, all right, wheel him in. Yes, sir. Coyle, eh? This is what's known as penetrating into enemy territory. Inspector Lomax. I'm Lomax. This is Sergeant Best. Won't you sit down? I'll come direct to the point, Inspector. I will not have your men coming into my research center and treating Victor Caroon as though he were a pathological criminal. Oh, nobody He's a sick man, Inspector. He's been through an ordeal that very few men could survive. Two men didn't survive it, did they, Mr. Quatermus? What exactly do you mean by that? I wish you'd sit down. If I sit and you stand, I'm being rude. I'm, I'm longing to sit down. You see, Mr. Quatermus, I'm an old-fashioned sort of chap. I don't know much about rockets or traveling in space. I don't read science fiction. I'm a plain, simple Bible man. I have a routine mind and have to do routine things. Such as fingerprinting an unconscious man. When three men take off in a rocket and only one comes back, in our reckoning, that leaves minus two. And minus two puts us in the embarrassing position of having to investigate plus one. Whether he's conscious, unconscious, or a gibbering idiot. Fine. I think I can save you a lot of time, Inspector, with your so-called investigation. I have here the particulars on all three members of the crew. Charles Green, Ludwig Reichenheim, Victor Caroon. You'll find everything there, Inspector. Medical histories, personal description, academic achievements, professional activities, politics, and even fingerprints. 
Right, very thoughtful of it. There's only one investigation likely to serve any good purpose in this situation, Inspector. That's a scientific one. I'm sure even you will agree that between us, I'm the best qualified for that assignment. Good day, Inspector. Sorry. Well, you might almost say we've been given a rocket. Yes, sir. It's absolutely unbelievable. It just isn't clinically possible that his heart should respond like this. Pulse, blood pressure the same. Impossibly now. He shouldn't be alive, but he is. Can't you do something to increase the metabolic rate? Tried everything. No effect. I never knew pressure effects to last this long. Well, these aren't just pressure effects. Doesn't only his face. Take a look at his skin. Anyway, here, on the shoulder. Feel it. Swollen. Coarsened. Yes, and that's not all, either. Look at the contour of the face. You mean the bone structure? Yes, I could be wrong about a limb, but not about the shape of the bones. There's been a change. I'm convinced of that. Is he any better? He's coming along fine. If only he'd say something. Give us a sign that he's thinking, that he knows we're here. He knows, Judith. He knows we're trying to help him. What is happening to him? Well, that's what we're trying to find out. Shouldn't he be in a hospital? That's exactly where he should be. Frisco, I can't take this responsibility any longer. I haven't got the proper equipment here to do the right tests. He belongs in a hospital. I suppose you're right. I suppose you're both right. He does belong in a hospital. But can a hospital do more than you can do? Would a hospital know what goes on out there in, in space, on the other side of the air? There's a whole new world out there, a wilderness, uncharted. And he's been there and come back. He's got the map. Unlock his mind for me, Briscoe, and find it. I know you can do it. It isn't just a question I know the strain and tension you've been under, but to stop now when we're so close, on the brink of something tremendous, the, the very fringe of some great discovery, we can't stop now, Briscoe. Besides, it's our only chance to learn what happened to the others. At a hospital, you have all the most modern hospitals. Would a hospital know how to deal with a man who's been exposed to rocket radiation? In his bloodstream, it was Or the effects of pressure at 1,500 miles up. During flight training, he took seven times the force of gravity without even a headache to show We for. know that. But would a hospital know it? Well, I'll try another transfusion, see if that'll help. Thanks. You'll stay with him, won't you, Judith? He needs you. Victor. I think we're moving into the office. We can make it more comfortable in there. Would you help me, please? Of course. Thank you for all you're doing, Gordon. Hmm? I only wish I could do more. The solution is elementary, my dear inspector. Victor Caron killed the two men, removed their precious suits, pushed their bodies out into space, and then linked the suits together again. Now, what do you want? Two things. Number one, I want to return these files. Green, Rackenheim, Caron. Very interesting. Caron, Number Red. two. Well, I want you to give me your solemn word. Well, that Inspector, I'm a very busy man. Now, look, sir, nobody ever wins a Cold War. One of us had better come over to the other side. If you don't want to come over to mine, I'm not proud, I'll come over to yours. Solemn word about what? That these were Karun's fingerprints. Of course they were. Everybody in Research Center gets it fingerprinted. What are you getting at? Uh, to be quite honest, I don't quite know, sir. Nothing unusual about these. These are the fingerprints we took off Karun last night. What about them? Compare them. Is this a joke? This is no joke, sir. The man who took those had his training in the fingerprint section. It's second nature to him. But these prints aren't even... human. Yes? Yeah. You found what? I'll be right there. Well, wherever you're going, I might as well keep your company, mightn't I? Hmm. Thank you. It's very nice of you. It was when I was checking the safety casing on the wire. Behind that. Right in the crevice. Hand me the sample spoon from my box.
Any more of this? Yes, sir, lots. On the left. By the rivet there. Want to have a sample for our people? Sure, we'll give you a sample. Let's go. What do you think it is? I don't think. I'm not sure. I've been in this thing all night. I smell it. Stuff's been around the whole time. Hi there, Lamp. You got the same bright thoughts that I have? Something happened in here. Something beyond our understanding at the moment. I only know where to begin. Maybe the film will help. Film? Yes, the lab should have developed it by now. I thought you told me the camera was smashed. It was badly damaged, but I managed to get the film out. Why didn't you tell me? Well, the lab said they didn't know if they could develop it or not. They've got to develop it. You get right down to that laboratory and tell them they've got to develop that film. Yes, sir. And I'll have no delays or excuses. Tell them to get the best process man in the country. Tell them to get anybody they want, but I've got to have that film. Right, sir. This is one premiere I don't want to miss. It's organic, it's jelly. End of analysis. No definite identification? Well, it might conceivably represent the dead remnants of cell tissue. What sort of cell tissue? It could be animal, it could be human. Human? Could be. Do you know what you're saying? I know what I'm thinking. Are you sure it's not some sort of plant cell? Positive. You mean to say that you're asking me to believe that that is the remains of two human beings? I'm not asking you to believe anything. You asked a question, I answered it. Does she know? No, this is the first sleep she's had in nights. What about the police analysts? What do they say? No report through yet. But I don't doubt it'll be the same. It's almost beyond human understanding. Some fantastic invisible force converted two men into jelly. Is that the slide? That's the slide. I'm about to call it a day, Quatermass. Beyond this, I'm a baby now. Gordon! All right, get him up. No, wait a minute. His hand. Another change. Get him back to bed. Look what's happening to his skin. In just the last few moments, I've done get him a sedative. You've done this to him. He'd have been better off if he'd been killed or stayed out there. Judith. You've destroyed him like you've destroyed everything else you've touched. Destroyed him? I brought him back. I've saved him. Saved him? For what? For further experiments? I can help him more than you or anyone else can. There's no room for personal feelings in science, Judith. Some of us have a mission. You should be very proud to have a husband who's willing to risk his life for the betterment of the whole world. What world? Your world? The world of Quatermass. I've sent for an ambulance. He's going to the central clinic. All right, Briscoe. Send him to the clinic. But I want him to have complete isolation, you understand? Complete isolation. No one is to see him. No one. Until I say so. We've tried three different grades of stock. Develop each one to as high a gamma as possible, and still it's made no difference. Look at this. It's grainy and dull. All I want is a print. Well, we don't like any print that isn't up to standard. Is there a picture on it? Oh, there's a picture, all right, but you can see how dull and grainy... I don't care how dull and grainy it is. I must have this now. It could be altitude, or an extreme change of temperature, or penetration of cosmic rays. Fine, fine, I'll tell him that. Well, I don't know what the old man will say. Listen, you tell your old man that our old man said if he didn't get this print, he'd dynamite the building. I can't tell the ministry this. They'll think I've lost my senses. That's exactly why you must tell them nothing. Now you see why I must have absolute authority to isolate the room. But every newspaper in town has got a story on him being admitted into the clinic. They'll want to know why. And what's happened to him and what's happened to the others. All right, do you want to tell them? Well, not telling them won't stop the panic. What they don't know won't start a panic. Inspector, what about the police analysis? The same, Mr. Beck. Well, what's the next move? Well, we've agreed to isolation. It's the only thing we can do until we know more. Yeah? The film is ready.
See that, Mike? It works. Yes, sir. What works? Automatic prism. It cuts in the panel readings. Once in the observation zone, the camera's geared to cut out at regular intervals. This will be the ZF.16 failure. That must be where we lost them. Oh, no, it could have happened. Look at that fantastic temperature drop. Run it again. He's in surgery. But I'll get word to him as soon as possible. Yes? What's the name, please? Who? Oh. Has two T's? Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Yes. I'll see if he gets it. Yes. Sorry, miss. The visiting hours are over. I just wanted to know how my husband is. Oh, I'll try and find out for you, miss. What will the name be? Karoon. Victor Karoon. Oh. He's all right, isn't he? Mrs. Karoon, uh, I wish I could let you go up, but we stick to the All I want to know is husband. how is he? Is there any change? Just a minute. Hello, Mabel. Alf, oh, yeah, listen. How is 4B? I know all about the orders, but I only want you to think out loud. Thank you, Mabel. Thank you. He's going all the same, Mrs. Karoon. No change, but no worse. If I could see him, just for a few minutes. I should be shot at dawn. But don't you worry, he's in good hands. They don't leave him alone, do they? Oh, not for a moment. Tucker, his night nurse, is with him now. And Perkins comes on in about half an hour. Both as good as any doctor. Could I wait for the night nurse when he comes off duty? If only to talk to someone who's been with him. Please. Tucker comes off in about half an hour. He usually dips out through the staff entrance. Turn left through the doors and it's on the right. Thank you. Wait for him outside. And if they ask me, I never told you nothing. Delivery. It always gives me more confidence, especially when my investigating is this private. Room 4B. 4B. Give me 15 minutes. I'll put him in the lift and send him back. Then he's all yours. I never saw you in my life. Please, Harry. And he's very sick. So don't, don't worry. Careful. I'll mother him like a baby. Relax, ladies. 
Evening. I'm from Casualty. Perkins is sick. They sent me to take over his night shift. Fine. Well, I know I'm too honest, but you're not due for another half hour. Who cares? Night shift is night shift. What's a half an hour here or there? Yeah, you know, you've got a heaven for this. But I made a pay. We should get some fun out of life. What's his trouble? He doesn't seem to know. He's the star patient. He just lies and stares. Never opens his mouth. But if he does, press that bell and quick. Well, happy nightmare. Any special instructions? No, on the job. Good night. Good night. News, my friend. Your wife is waiting for you downstairs. And the man is going to get you out of here. Does that make you happy? It does? Good. Well, we don't have too much time, so up we get. Hello. Hello. Yeah. What time are you up? Ask him whether he's going to live or not. Operating? For about three and a half hours at least. You too. Me too. Chinese restaurants open for midnight. Take you both. Beautiful green sour Roast duck. Fried shrimps. There we are. Now the jacket. That's a good boy. Can't meet the lady looking sloppy. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Wives well, usually employ me to get them away from their husbands. <laughs> oh, you're a sad one. Oh, well, to each his own. Hey, steady, steady. Now, you stay here while Christy goes and gets the lift. One a minute. All right, Victor. I'll get you the best treatment, the finest doctors. I'll get you well and strong. We'll make a new life for ourselves. Away from all this. Away from him. Our life will be our own. Would you like one? I don't think we'll find listed in forensic medicine. It looks as though the knife was drawn right out of him. Have the body examined by a head pathologist. I'd like a report as soon as possible. Yes, yes but a home officer pathologist also took a little peep. I don't care if he dunks his head into a ring. Karun, the other side of town. Car full of luggage. And Karun? No sign of him. Stupid idiot, trying to take the whole thing in her own hands. Where did he go? What did she say? She didn't say anything. Anything about him. She's in a pretty bad state it's of not shock. about him, then about what? The doctor said she may even go out of her mind. Out of her mind about what? What did she say? Come on, talk, man. Well, when they found her, she was just sitting at the wheel of a car and moaning. Something about a a hand being all grey, with thorns, like a... like a cactus.
Well, remember, there was a cactus in this room, in this pot. Can I get a drink line through this? Yes. Hello? Hello? Look, get me Scotland Yard. Car 3-9, car 3-9. Proceed immediately to 34 Bainham Street and investigate report of Prowler by resident. May be Karoon. Proceed with caution. Car 3-9, roger. Cars Join River Police at Hayes Wharf to search area bounded by Shandale, Lane and Tony Street. River Patrol 4. River Patrol 4. Join Mobile Police at Hayes Wharf to search area bordered by Tony Street, Hayes Lane and Strand Thames. River Patrol 4. Roger. Out. Eaten away, the bones powder. Well, it takes care of my supper tonight. Frisco, what if there is a form of life in space? Not on some planet, but just drifting. God knows. Not life as we know it. With intelligence, yes, but pure energy, with no organic structure. Invisible. Invisible? Now, the rocket passed through its path. It entered the rocket. It found living specimens of our form of life. Cell organisms, human. Green and Russian arm. And Karun, exactly. Now, if even by accident it could enter one of those structures, what a way to invade the Earth. Now, look, sir, I'm not over-intelligent. You saw you... the film, you know what happened. Only God knows where and how far that rocket traveled. But only two of them died. Something got into that rocket. Took the blood out of the other two, and now it's using Karun. And it's found other forms of life. The cactus. Good grief. You mean Karun's a carrier? He's now in the shell of a man being transformed. If one of these cactus plants were subject to the same mutation, there could be an affinity, a union between plant and animal, with the ability to destroy and possess and multiply. At will. Multiply? Yes, but to multiply first, it has to live. And like any living thing, to live... To live, it must have food. <laughs> There's no picnic. What about dinner? Cooking, keep your fingers crossed. Bye. What do you think he was trying to do? I'd like to think kill himself. The thieves will mix the normal results with death in five minutes. What? What is it? I have a pretty sick feeling it was something to speed up the change going on inside him. But Karun was an engineer. He didn't know anything about chemistry. Karun didn't know. There's a kettle still on and there's no sign of the chemist anywhere. What do you think he was doing here? Well, one thing he was doing, he We're, was uh, not certain. Not certain about anything with this customer. Well, nobody in the street had anything. They're all at church or in the local. He must have... Evans, come in quick. 
thank God. Yes. What time was this? Was it an eyewitness? I see. Oh, we're doing fine. He's been positively seen in Liverpool, Margate, Ostend, and the Orkneys. Yes? Yes. Deptford area. What? A kid told her mother. Yes? About two hours ago. Hold it, please. A kid got a dog broken by a man down by some derelict boats near Deptford. Oh, so it had to be Caroon. No, the mother's complaining about molesting kids. Deptford said the description could fit Caroon. All right, well, that's why there's a police station at Deptford. Thank you, Deptford. Keep us informed. Baba, the Deptford alert on Karoon. Yes, I know it is, so your boys can have another little drive. Oh. Cover derelict boats, warehouses, and bomb shelters. All right, so do it again. Where's he getting food? That's what I'd like to know. Now, now, shut up, Simba. Get back to bed. It's time to go to bed. Go on, off you go. Shh. Go on, don't stand there gaping at me. Off you go to bed. Good night, fellas. Sleep well. Hello, Joey. You know something? Could have sworn I saw you having tea in a cafe this afternoon. Turned out to be a customer, though. <laughs>
This is exactly as the keeper found them when he came on duty. Are there others, you say? Yes, over here. We found three more soon outside the antelope house. Well, what was left of them? Look. Look at that. Complete absorption this time. That's what I've been afraid of. Inspector, get this place closed, get everybody out of here. Right, as quickly and quietly as possible. No panic, no excitement. Close the whole place up, but we already wrote the arrows on here. Sir, you've got to take it from us. We know what we're doing. Just tell your men to cooperate, please. Well, I don't understand what's happening anyway. What killed these animals? You better say natural causes for what? now. Sorry, ma'am. We're closed this morning. Closed? But we've come all the way from Matthew. Sorry, ma'am. We're not open to the public this morning. Will it be open this afternoon? Yeah, I wish I could tell you, sir. Uh, sorry, folks. It's too closed. I'm very sorry now, but we're closed. Closed? What's that? I'm very sorry, sir. Pretty horrible, isn't it? Quick, the sample box. Well, what manner or shape of thing do we look for now? You'll know it when you see it. Just send your men out with a prayer that we find it in time. It's almost too terrifying to think about. In less than 12 minutes, every animal completely absorbed, except one. Gone, like quicksand. But this quicksand knows what it's doing. It's troubled its size in an hour. Do you know what this means? This is only a fragment of the main organism. If the same thing is happening to him at the same rate of speed, if absorbing those mice could do this, there is no living thing on Earth that stands a chance against it. How do we fight it? How do we stop it? Hands off me, young man. Please remember that I'll come here and buy on a call. Yes, yes. I'll come here to complain about something, what I saw. Okay, Rosie, you keep saying that. I I'll refuse to go and budge it to any common constable. There's nothing comes to do all day but sit on his big flat fleet. On his big fat fleet. <laughs> now, now, come on, Rosie, old girl. Don't you won't call me. I'm young enough to be your mother. So what respectable woman do you want to be out there now? All right, that's me. Here, I'll come in here to buy own free will. I'll come here to buy own violation. I'm very glad we ought to see you, Rosie. What can we do for you this time? I wish to make a report. Miss Rosemary Elizabeth Wrigley. What address this week? Well, I'm temporarily visiting. Bow Street. With friends. Salvation Army. The embankment. What did you see this time, Rosie? Oh, it was terrible. Shocking. It always is, Rosie. Just tell me what you saw. Oh, it's a bit of a thing if a young woman can't walk the streets of London with that creepy crawly being able to run about as they please. What's the police force for if they're looking for dangers from the like of that? Come on, tell me. Tell me, what's the police force for? Rosie. Yes. Rosie, just tell me what you saw. And we of the London Metropolitan Police will do all in our power to see that it doesn't occur again. Is it what my voice went so dry that I couldn't even yell for a couple? I still got this awful thirst. Makes it hard to remember. And water makes me as sick as a baby. It better be worthwhile, Rosie. Yes. After you tell me. I was sitting in a doorway, see, because I wasn't feeling so well. And the doctor says that too much walking's bad for my legs. It's my legs, you see. You were sitting in a doorway? Just, just for a minute or two. When suddenly I heard a wait, kind of rustling it was. Rustling? So I looked. And there, at the end of the street, I saw something move. Something enormous. What moved, Rosie? But I couldn't make out the shape properly. I used to make out the shape of these things. Think carefully, Rosie. Was it this something? Was it walking quickly or slowly? Walking? It was kind of crawling up on a wall. Was it like any of the things that I'll see on Saturday nights? No, Rosie, I think this time you really saw it. Get me the yard. Or cancel it. It's a priority. Really saw it? You mean that this time it's not a halluc it's not a gin goblin? No, Rosie. This time it was real. Real? It's my legs! Hello? Scotland Yard? Yes, Inspector Lomax, please. Lomax here. Yes? Say that again? Get the commissioner right away. Oh, yes. Yes? We'll be right there. Oh, Max. He said it's climbed a brick wall 30 feet high.
Yes, yeah, no doubt at all. He was here quite recently, too. The trail end is on the wall. Let me have that case up here. Get him his case, Sergeant. Send the car, please. Use the car radio. I want to call around the entire area, evacuate all public. Get information to check up every movement that's likely to take place inside this radius tonight. Yes, sir. Warn everyone not to touch anything unusual they may find in the streets or their gardens. Warn the children, especially. I need troops and the civil defense. Yes, sir, I'll be right up. program with a swing. What are you talking about? Oh, no one must touch anything unusual they find in the streets. Don't panic. Just inform the nearest police station. They've been putting that out all day on the radio. Westminster Abbey. Yes? Standing by. Opening announcement coming up. Okay, stand by, cameras. All right, camera one, titles are in. We'll be on you in five seconds. Four, three, two, one... On you, camera one, where are you? All right, quick, take over camera two, on you instead. What's happened? What's happened? It looks like a body. Kill transmission. Line drove, fill in, will you? I'll get back as soon as possible. Tell presentation. Camera three and scaffolding, hold it. Coming 
expect the rummage to go to two people out of the alley. Please, don't onto you, camera three. Everybody in that building may be in deadly danger. We're on transmission. Go to you, camera one. Turn up as high as you can. Uh... What in the name of... It must be 20 feet across. Kill transmission. Camera one, hold that shuttle lock off and everybody out. Hello. Hello, presentation. Yes, you'll just have to carry on as best you can. We can't go on here. Yes. Yes, fill in, will you? Ready for us, quick, in the front. Don't have that Abbey, have the now. Abbey, Abbey, uh, there's an emergency. You saw it? We don't know what it is. Same pattern as the one in the lab. Only it was 20 times the pattern of reproduction. Those nodules, if they get to spore this time, nothing will stop them. They'll break out, they'll spread by the million, whatever there's air and wind. How long before it starts reproducing again? Based on the last cycle, 80 or 90 minutes, and then within hours, for every one, there'll be a million. It's coming lower. We've got to stop it. We need a miracle to stop it now. We'll get flamethrowers. Parts of it might still escape. The whole of it must be killed. Dynamite, that would only spread it further. Stop moving! It's barely pulsating now. The timing was out. It's in its last dormant stage, just before it reproduces. It's changing again. The beginning of new small producing terms, Dustin. The way it's hanging there, wrapped around the scaffolding. Let's go, I think we can stop it. I want to run cables to it. That's half the main power line. I want to send enough current into that steel to burn it up. We've got to keep pouring current to it. We have to melt it right down to the ground. Yeah, it's our only chance. I want every bit of current in London diverted to here. Don't bring the city to a standstill. If that thing's born before we kill it, you won't have any city. I just hope you're right, that's all. I just hope you're right. Hey! Well, this time you won. In my simple Bible way, I did a lot of praying. One world at a time is good enough for me. Can we use it all up now, sir? Is it all right, sir? I'm only just hurt, sir. Might have been here sooner. 
Is there anything I can do? Yes, Marsh. Gonna need some help. Help, sir? What are you gonna do? Gonna start again. 